wave, I did the very syncopation of your small song. The way you the answer to all my stupid game. I know you quite roll it casually in cigarette smoke. How do you rest that But I want you. Songwriter, performance, poet, duo, folk duo. I play acoustic guitar and sing, and uh, he performs poetry. Um, that's his thing, and, and singing and, and songwriting is my thing. They call me the fountain pen. They call him Donnie Welch because that's his name. Yeah, and uh, at least legal. So Welch and Pen is a is a really creative uh, little collaboration of our names um, from Fountain Pen and, and Donnie Welch. We thought really hard about it. As yeah, you can probably tell. Yeah, it's. Yeah. It, it took a long time to, to figure out we wanted to do that. But uh, the, the reasoning behind it, you know, at first we thought we could, we could do something different, but we really didn't want to change too much of what we did individually. Um, I've been playing shows for about seven years, and he's been playing a long time, um, and we, we really didn't want to create new personas or anything. We wanted to do exactly what we've been doing, but just together. Uh, we thought adding the poetry to the music, or adding the music to the poetry, um, would kind of create this really engaging, unique little thing that uh, not a lot of people have done before. Yeah. Um, if anybody, I don't know of any other singer, songwriter, performance, poet, duo, but uh, if there is one. I met you, I felt like I'd fallen backwards two times. Found myself in the 50s dive ball, and there you were. You got rocky, really body curves, like an upright face. Your laugh was the B side track of my rock and roll dream girl. Your smile made my head spin like a vinyl. You moved like some jukebox music. I was swept away by just the very syncopation of your small talk. The way you left the answer to all my stupid gifts. I know you quite roll as casually as cigarette smoke. How do you rash there? by oxycodone, divorce, and a teenage hooligan with our loud music and crazy ideas, our irrational fears of being trapped in cubicles and offices like our parents have made us backseat romantics, late night bug life philosophers, backyard anarchists, and bored revolutionaries. It has always been us against the world, hasn't it? Having eyes like yours can't hurt the eyes, and green is my lucky color if there is such a thing, but tonight I'm taking that. Besides, if God exists, he's a gambler, waiting for someone to call his bluff on eternity. So, what do you say if these dice blow and let them roll? Sure, we might win, babe, we might lose everything, but at a time we even tap things to be laser and move, nothing is forever anymore. There's no longer such a thing as permanent, so wrap the arm around my way. We'll go over to that jukebox, drop in a quarter, and put on some Glenn Miller, squirrel nuts to the reserve, whatever suits your fancy and find ourselves a song we can sing to.
Yeah, but uh, yeah, like Fred said, like St. Jude's to me is just creating this utopia for performers, and it's also about like not just a utopia for young performers, but a place like run by an old performer, an older performer who understands how the scene works, who understands what's going on. Because I mean, the point of it is just that, like in, in this business, if you will, and this is one of the lines, the only way you can learn is the hard way. So St. Jude's is this place where you can go back to and like figure yourself out and try to remember why you wanted to do whatever artistic endeavor it was you wanted to do before you got caught up in the rat race aspect of art. a bar called St. Jude's, open at one of those godforsaken corners across the street from the 7 Eleven that you can buy pirated porn in the back of it at Jude's. Why hell? We serve milkshakes, have a ladies' night, we aim happy hour confession that the birthday party for regulars always be on the house with a jukebox that's only got Leonard Cohen and Motown because hallelujah is the only reason I still sort of believe in God. We'd have an open mic, but the spotlight looks closer to a halo. And after every set, we go up and give him a shot of whiskey and say, Here you go, kid. Get a knee bit. Because it don't get any easier from here. Pretty soon, you'll start contemplating fame. Doing things only because you know that they will get you laid and getting all the reasons and all the people you started doing this for to begin with. Don't, you don't spend the rest of your night regretting it. 